fascist Byleth. I won't stand for this. Anyway, uh, going into game one pretty fast. To this day, I've still never played a Fire Emblem. So I can only good. gauge it, the skins off of what I think looks best. I go with the eight skin on Byleth. Okay, the, uh, the light-haired chick. It's the, the green hair yeah. with the, the black costume. Yeah, that was pretty good. That's from, like, the second half of the game. But anyway, uh, creepy little dog monster, Isabel. Listen, I don't like... I don't have anything against Animal Crossing, but animals should not talk. No, they, they should not. They have <laughs> <laughs> That's a different story. I mean, at least Isabel works for her rights. Yeah. <laughs> She's a productive member of society, particularly in this matchup so far. Getting in with a decent amount of string shots. And I'm kind of hoping... You know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see this Isabel take a stock and just run away for eight minutes. I would not. It, it, would, it, would, it, it would amuse me. Oh, the, as we heard from Sakurai himself, the distance demon Byleth would not let you do that. <laughs> yeah, the distance demon. Sakurai in a recent interview stated that not only does he think there are too many Fire Emblem characters in the game, but Nintendo went a complete different direction from what he wanted to do in terms of the fifth character, and that's why we have Byleth. Well, it's, it's supposed to be Sora. Let it be known. And when it, it is Sora, I will be the best Sora. It, it could have been a number of characters. That's true. I'm, I'm not going to say it's not, because he, I thought Sora was definitely in the mix. Good parry by Paisy. Well, we have six more shots to get Sora, so we're not worried yet. I'm in the Geno camp. I'm in, I'm, I'm cool with Geno, too. Ooh, that, was a, that was a really good tech chase. Yeah, that was a great tech chase into what I think was down smash. Yeah, that was down smash. It's kind of like the Marcina tech chase, when you knock them down and you, they're at the ledge, so you down smash to cover, miss tech, tech in place, and tech behind you. Except you're Isabel. <laughs> Except you're Isabel. You're a much worse character, but the down smash is there. This is definitely a low tier matchup oh, no. if I've ever seen one. <laughs> <laughs> Even Paisy's smirking, like, okay, I guess I got, I got got by this newbie character. You can, uh, you can do that, actually. It's, uh, not very prominent with most characters, but with characters like Roy and Krom, you can actually jab, and the balloon will extend the jab to give you a kill confirm uh, for a really long time. So I'm going back and forth in my head trying to decide which one of these characters would be more painful to play consistently. I just watched oh, Isabelle's tiny little nair hit once and then be too short to hit two more times on a follow-up. Meanwhile, I'm watching Violet struggle to walk as this is essentially I'm a handicap character. Oh no, don't, don't do that. that. Here. That's, that's oh, with the hatchet man coming through. Hatchet man. That's what that is. They it's they mirror. They took Hero's menu and said, alright, you can only get Hatchet Man, and that's the downbeat. Well, that's a pretty good downbeat. <laughs> is it? Yes, Hatchet Man is a good move. I stand by it's it. It's a slower Hatchet Man. It's it a slower, armor. sadder, and it doesn't even fully break shield from full. But it has super armor. Go down there. Yeah, get him. It has super armor eventually. So, if I'm, if I'm Squig, what I'm doing, I'm knocking him off stage, and I'm running off to, like, suicidally low points in the blast zone just so I can upbeat him. For that's, the upbeat That's how for the upbeat yank. To be played. Yeah. You want to yoink them? You want to opposite of yeet them? Yes, yoink. Like the character. I'm so glad that didn't stick. It should have stuck. I, I was in the camp for it, but in the long term, the grand scheme, kind of glad. If people like Jer and Jidebe, you deserve to have. Nobody likes Jer, they just say it. Oh, God. I hate Jer. Yeah, good job to wait out the uh, little Royal rocket dude. Yeah, Paisy, I feel like, has actually outplayed Squigs for a good chunk of this game. But because Isabel has no real kill power and there was a shield break, he's just behind the well, I feel like... When... Like, how do... I just feel like he's, he's kind of doing it wrong, like the zoning. Because, like, when he's doing stuff like this, it's really good. But, like, how the hell do you let Byleth get in on you when you have that forward air? Yeah, and Byleth has zero... Zero speed. mobility at all. <laughs> he's a horrible character. <laughs> yeah, Byleth's pretty bad. We know we're the top two violent players yeah, in Chicago. <laughs> trash character. There you go. Like, look at that. He started down tilt before the Isabel jumped, and the Isabel beat him to it. So the neat part about this is like, all right, never mind, because he got hit by an up air. I was going to say, this match is nearly even, because it's entirely possible Byleth just can't hit Isabel for three minutes and dies. Yeah, that's all right. I hate this character. Get it off my screen. But yeah, that's a fascist skin for, for Byleth. If anyone plays red, they're a fascist. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> Alright, Paisy's, Paisy's got to continue the fade back aerials. They were working really well. Or pick Inkling. Yeah, I, I like that too. Pop up the tier list as far as you can. Yeah, pick not Isabel is also not the worst choice. Not don't get me, don't get me wrong. Good Isabels, 
super lit to watch sometimes when they're doing crazy combos, but let's be honest, you're not going to get those on Violets. You're just going to get your shield broken. It's going to feel tragic. Awful. Anyway, we have two real characters. This is this is my skin for... No, this isn't allowed. Violet is a female character. No. That's Dimitri, the best character. He's actually like number eight on characters that like Nintendo people like. Wait, why is his name Violet if his name's Dimitri? Because it's like the different, there's like three characters and you pick one of their houses and this skin is based off of how Dimitri looks and the red skin is based off how a character named Edelgard looks and the yellow one is based off how a character named Claude looks. Okay, Edelgard I'm familiar with. I heard a lot of people theorizing that could be a character. The, um, Too that, bad. Was a, that was a while ago though. We took away her weapon and we gave it to a much worse character. <laughs> But I'm sitting here watching Violet struggle to function, but those two hits made the game even. This must be how Bowser feels in Melee. Right? Like, this is, this is how just heavies are, and, like, Violet's not a heavy. There aren't really heavies in this game, if you think about it. All there's the heavies monsters. in this game have such cheese. Yeah, there's monsters. Heavyweights got left behind in Smash 4. No, Grapplers got left behind in Smash 4. Evil monster characters. I hate them all. Well, they gave everyone a frame 3 jump squad. A jumping Bowser is frightening. Squigs got up and stood still. He definitely had time to shield there. Charging uh, the down smash. No oh. more shield for you. Yeah, a little bit of charge on that down smash, a little bit more is an auto shield break full, which is kind of wild. And a down air? Oh, a little bit too much charge. Yeah, don't hang on that ledge for too long. It's not like you have a lot of options with the whole idea of, I'm going to charge my neutral B. All right, how many different times can I let go? Oh, twice in five seconds. Goody. You are trapped. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that you can frame trap yourself by pushing B. Well, the move is like, do you have frame advantage? Did you not want it? <laughs> you know, like, just bad all around. Squigs has a good game plan going in with an opponent that doesn't seem to know too much about what Violet does, and just saying, I'm going to keep forward smashing as hard as I can, hard charges, because I'm going to catch two or three of these, and right. I'm going to take three stops. And if you have, like, somebody who's thrown out a lot of smash attacks, like, like out of your shield, you should hardly ever be choosing a smash deck as your first option out. And if that's what you're doing, you're just letting your, like, you're opening yourself up. Well, the opponent, um, Hazy, having a tough time getting in on the smash deck because Squigs is finding the right times to start charging when he knows his opponent isn't going to know how to approach on him. Yeah, that's fair. You see a lot of that in the, uh, the round one stuff. No down tilt. I'm surprised he didn't down tilt there. Typically, like, like step one is, you know, just roll out of the corner or, like, try to use movement to get out of the corner, but, like, it's really just fighting your way out of the corner can sometimes be really effective on characters and players who've been taking long dashes up to you. You see that a lot from Paisy. Like, right before he goes in, he moves back and then takes a nice long dash up forward. Paisy just has to be careful to not get overly Ooh, aggressive. Bye -bye. Oh, okay. He can just get shot by an arrow. American Sniper. Uh, when, when, if Paisy goes back and watches this, um, he was approaching at times where Squigs had spaced out a smash attack and started charging it. In those situations, just let him finish. Reset right, neutral. Back off and let it, let it happen. Because the worst thing that happens for you is neutral's reset. The worst, or so, if you back off, and for Squigs, he's putting himself in a position where that was the worst thing happening to him. Right. So if you're not sure.